Uh, all right, guys, this is our BMW E46. It's a 318i M Sport Touring. Um, it's a manual car, you can see there. Now, we believe there's a problem with the brake booster pedal. Uh, sorry, the brake booster. Um, I'll tell you for why. Um, basically, what we'll do is we do a test where you pump the brake pedal uh, sort of four or five times until it gets really hard and then we should start the engine and then once we start the engine the brake pedal should sort of go like further down um, release, it should release the pressure uh, this pedal to start with is, is already rock solid so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure it's in neutral here the gear stick so make sure that's not going to stall when we try and start it so then we'll, uh, we'll pump the brake pedal that it's really hard, not that it really matters because it's already rock solid and then keep your foot on the pedal and start the engine and the brake pedal should have dropped by maybe, I don't know, an inch or two um, however, it's staying exactly the same, exactly where it is um, so that's one of the tests you can do um, to check to see if your brake booster is uh, faulty or not now, there's another test I believe um, is where you can leave it for two minutes oh sorry start the car so the car started now uh, to leave it for two minutes and then put your foot on the brake pedal and then turn the engine off and straight away I can feel this pressure straight away now normally you shouldn't get pressure kicking back on your foot for about uh, sort of 20 to 30 seconds um, if you're getting the pressure kicking back straight away again it looks like the uh, the brake booster might be faulty um, so that's my experiences in this E46 um, in this particular vehicle let me just pop the hood for you This is the brake booster here. You've got your vacuum line going along there. Um, this is the ABS module and the ABS unit, so you may well need to, well, it looks like we will need to remove this in order to get at the brake booster. The brake booster, the expansion tank, and the uh, master cylinder right underneath there, they're all connected. So they can stay connected. And then what you'll do is <clears throat> I've never looked at it properly myself, but on the brake pedal should be attached to the cylinder. Now in this particular vehicle we're gonna have to take this panel off. So we've got fixing there, fixing there, fixing there. That's just the OBD2 port. And we should be able to drop this panel and then have a look at the fixings uh, which connect the brake pedal to the um, master cylinder, oh, sorry, the, uh, the brake booster or the servo. That's my experiences on this BMW E46. Looks like we need to change that up, change over the brake booster. Um, hope this helps and uh, thanks for watching.